to us, which was awesome yeah, because I, awesome. I originally wanted it. Yeah. And um, yeah, just to kind of um, see everything. I, you know, I heard about the children on the second and third floor. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, have you guys been to the second and third floor? Yeah, yeah. I have. I stayed yeah. on the third. I, yeah. I've never had any experience except on the fifth, though. Like, yeah. I stayed in that room. Yeah. yeah, that's where my husband and I stayed last and time. And <laughs> I've only felt, I didn't feel anything in the room, just out here mostly. He did too. That's crazy. Okay, yeah. so I stayed here. My husband's a huge That's skeptic. Yeah. Um, we spent the night. The next morning, we kind of laughed it off. And we're mm -hmm. like, yeah, you know, nothing to it. I even told my mother on the phone. I came out here to get coffee. And I swear to God, without a thought of it in my mind, and I'm a pretty skeptical person. Mm -hmm. This sounds so nuts, but something very clearly, just like lovingly stroked the back of my head. Oh, so wow. I'm telling my husband, and of course yeah. he thinks I'm full of it. <laughs> We'll stay at the Belveda, which is right here. Used to be a bank. I guess it would be called Belvada because it's Nevada. The Belveda Tonopah. 1906. That building's been here since 1906. So I'm a little excited about uh, spending some time there tonight. I'm inside the Belveda. Is it Belveda or Belvada? Belvada. The Belvada Hotel. It is absolutely beautiful. Used to be a bank. Mm -hmm. And it used to be part oh, of the old vault. Oh, the old vault's right here? Cool. This used to be a bank, and they have even restored the vault to be a little sitting room what a cool one teddy is taking over this is a very comfortable place this vault area it's really comfortable I wow just stay in here the three old guys declared it our home yeah yeah we're in the vault and unfortunately the only time we're in the vault there's no money but there is some nice furniture but i've been told we are priceless yeah, oh, well, that's true. So, Very true. This is cool. This, this is, is cool. I like these chairs. Yeah. Neat. Let's go see what else we got. We're in the vault. Let us out. Watch your step. Oh, oh, thank goodness it's not a time a time to open it. We can get out anytime we want. Okay, this is still being remodeled. Right here. The Belvada Hotel. Belvada. Queen of Tonopah Carnival. Wow. I like the stair one. Really nice. Walt's wearing his cowboy hat. Not me. These waters. 38 this way. One thing about bloggers you need to know is one, when it comes to eating, our food gets cold because we're too busy vlogging. Two, we never rush into our room because we're going to vlog that experience too. Yeah. This is beautiful though. Very nicely appointed. It's funny how everything at the Mizpah is red. But over here it's this slate blue. Yeah. Very calming. New carpet. The bed looks Smells great. Good. Just turn the lights on. Ooh, this is nice. The furniture looks more newer here. Mid-pop, the furniture is really old. So you got a 
refrigerator, microwave, a cool little table, a little coffee maker. Yeah, and look at this is very nice. Isn't this called Subway Tile over here? Yes, it is. It's very good. I love these couple of little chairs here. I can see the Ms. Pa from the my room. So that's not too bad. Oh, there we go. Let me try that again. Yeah. Look at this peacock. Very pretty. All the fixtures around here are pretty cool. Here, a ton of pie. Guys, here's the Ms. Pa in this old picture. And that's the Belveda right there. That's pretty cool. Here is the lobby of the Bell Vada Hotel. You can see Alan and Teddy there, but this place, this place is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I have to show you the ceiling. Which is so pretty. What really made me mad is the Washington DC thing. That was awful. Awesome. And you know, I'm scared to death because I have a daughter that's in Washington. Okay. Can't take that because I'm thinking. I have a dad and another big mom. It's coffee here. Mm. All right, I'm here with Alan this morning. As you know, he and I have, have been, we've been blocked blogging, blog, well not blogging, but vlogging for the last couple of days here in Tonopah on Goldfield. And I just wanted to sit down with him, pick his brain a little bit, let you guys know who he is and what he's all about. So I've got a few questions for Alan this morning. Let's check. And here's question number one. <laughs> well, just number one, just tell us, Alan, you know, a little bit about yourself and why you got started and what motivated you to become a YouTuber? Um, so what got me started with YouTube was a, a couple things. The funny one was I'm semi-retired, which means I don't have a nine to five grind anymore, but I don't have any income coming in. So my girlfriend is my producer. If you ever watch any of my videos and you see executive producer TLC, that's my girlfriend. So she kind of supports me for now while I go on this YouTube quest. Uh, why I got started is because I just, I'm a, a visual person, I'm a photographer, not by trade per se, but I did do photography, and I also did aerial drone photography. So I figured why not share that, that skill set and do it on YouTube. And uh, that's basically what got me started, was to just share some of the stuff. Now, why I picked Vegas is because I've been going to Vegas, I don't know, since 1985, and uh, <clears throat> we finally moved there a couple of years ago, and I don't gamble, and I don't party anymore, I'm too old to party, so I always look for things to do when we'd go visit Vegas, and as uh, more from a tourist perspective, what can I do where I don't have to gamble, I don't have to wait in line to go party, so that's why I started my channel and what motivated me to start it. All right, so if you can see, I'm going to ask him the second question. But first, I mean, this place is beautiful. Uh, I did, did some video, and so has Alan. So check out our videos because this place is amazing. But the second question is this, <clears throat> Alan, what, what is it that uh, you're trying to get across to the viewers when you make your videos because to me they're they're very they're they're beautiful videos so i think my my, my main goal is and i'll say it is i'm a t 
tourist slash travel channel. So why I started the channel was because I wanted to look for things to do and that still is what, what it is that my channel is. It's what can I do if I decide to go to Vegas, my spouse wants to gamble, I don't want to gamble and is there anything for here? Is there anything here to do? And there's plenty to do in Las Vegas. So why not? That's my style is come follow me along on an adventure. I'll show you things that you can do in a day, several days, and uh, have fun while you're doing it. Yeah. And uh, that's what turned me on to his videos. I checked them out and he'd give some ideas of some things you can do from Las Vegas and then beyond Las Vegas. So that's pretty cool. He's giving me some ideas of places where I need to shoot and go and things like that. So number three, um, question number three is basically what individuals would you attribute your success maybe in life or maybe on YouTube? That's a really good question. Um, for, for life, I think my biggest inspiration has always been my father for numerous reasons. One, he was a very generous man and a great sense of humor, but also he was a photographer and he always wanted to be a professional photographer, but his sage advice to me in high school was, do it as a hobby, get into computers, and I'm talking, this was 1978 when I was in high school, get into computers when there were these big behemoths. He said, make your career that, and then spend all the money that you earn on buying camera gear. <laughs> so he, uh, you know, and, and even afterwards, birthdays, Christmas, he's like, well, what camera gear don't you have? So. I think he was my biggest inspiration on why I do this. And then as far as YouTube, um, to be honest, and this is kind of, I don't know, it, it's such a pat answer, but it's really Peter McKinnon. Uh, you know, I started watching him uh, even before Casey Neistat. I, I, I didn't like Casey Neistat's erratic style. Um, Peter was very cinematic, uh, very smooth moves, very intentional moves. And so uh, to me, it was a little more polished. And uh, not that there's anything wrong with Casey Neistat, he does great work, but that's just not my style. I like the smoother, more build up, not just cut, 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 cut. That just freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's cool because I like both of those guys too. And uh, uh, obviously I'm not as cinematic as, as uh, Peter, but I'm, and I'm not as erratic as Casey. <laughs> no, so I try to find myself, uh, try to make myself a little bit more raw and more like Casey, but you gotta, you gotta make it visually appealable to people too, so. And then, um, let me think of the other question. Hang on. Okay, last question is, uh, who do you follow? Who do you watch, you know? You know, we, I watch a lot of people, but there's only a, a handful that I really watch and sit down and look at their videos, as you probably do the same. And then, what are you looking forward to in the future here as 2021 unfolds? And what are you looking, places that you, at the top of your head, you might be thinking about, hey, I need to get there. Right, exactly. So, um, they're, they're, you're right. Who, who are the core people that I will definitely watch? And... It, it is probably Peter McKinnon is the one. If he puts something out, now I won't watch all his videos, but I will watch some. If it's technical about Adobe Illustrator or I'm sorry, Adobe Lightroom, don't care. If it's about making videos, yes, uh, I will watch him. Um, and then there's, you know, I do like like Walt said, I'll follow. Like if I see something where Walt, Walt has gone and I want to check it out, I'm definitely going to watch that because I've never been there, which kind of tailors into his his second half of his question. What does 2021 bring? Um, more travel in and around Nevada. I mean, I, I'll go to Arizona, places close by, but I will always do Las Vegas because again, that's where I live. And people who have been raised there kind of overlook it. And, and my rule, even where, where I came from was, treat your town like you're a tourist. So where would you take friends and family if they were coming into town? So Vegas, yes, you can always do the Strip, Fremont Street, but what about all the little other side areas that are just as neat, very historic? But yeah, so 2021 will be full of more Vegas, but definitely if Walt sticks around, I'm gonna go hang out with Walt for a bit because I wanna <laughs> check out areas like Arizona, 
you know, close by. Utah, um, more Nevada, definitely. We may even go into California, depending if they let us go in there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, well, I appreciate it. I've really enjoyed the last few days, uh, Alan. So uh, I think our fans will enjoy listening listen to what you uh, told us today. That's great stuff. So we'll be doing more. Yeah, you've been a great host. Um, you know, it took me about a day, and everyone always comments on Walt's accent. If you guys know who Huel Hauser is, he would, will remind you exactly of Huel. He's got that. <laughs> down to earth, very, what is the word, approachable. Walt's great. So if you're, you are subscribed to him, it's no wonder. I agree with you guys. So thanks again, <laughs> Walt. Thanks for everything you've done this, uh, these two couple of days. Yeah, thank you. Th thanks to Alan. And thanks to, for those kind words. Uh, I really appreciate that. So guess what? I'm heading back to Kingman. He's heading back to Las Vegas. And we'll see y'all next time. Yeah.